in for you. Announcements, announcements, announcements. Pete's got another one, another one, another one. Pete's got another one. He's got them all the time. Pete. Brian. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Good morning, Internet. Wait, that's not right. Yeah, it is right. <laughs> well, one. welcome to Kids Site 2. The web page. I'm Pete. And I am... Am I Brian? You are Brian. Okay, cool. I'm Brian. And it is Tech Track Tuesday, Tuesday, where I talk about some sort of technology thing toward the end of the show. That's right. But before that, we're we not have... Tell you what we're uh, um, I would flip that over, maybe. Oh, look at that. There we go. Before that, we have a song. We have some facts. Ooh, we have some facts. Funky I like facts. The, I like the facts song. we have today. And um, I think that we have um, the man of mysteriousness right now. Yeah, you. I don't want to do the work. You do the work. I'll manage you. <laughs> I was just trying things while we were at commercial break. It wasn't commercial break. It was the man of mysteriousness who is acting quite peculiar. He's not acting very super nosy. He's I mean, acting pretty super, I think. Oh, all right. I don't know. I, meh, whatever. I don't know. Okay. Well, looking right here, it looks like we have to do this guy. Yep. And then we're going to do that guy. So, anyway, well, welcome to Kids Side 2, as we said. Yeah, and, and um, uh, if you've never seen this program before, let's tell you a little bit about it. Yes. Now, every single day, Monday through Friday, we do a new episode. That's and not every day. That means Saturday and Sunday, we're not doing new Well, episodes. I mean, we're resting. We're doing invisible episodes. Exactly. Days. You, we actually do the episodes. You actually, you're just never going to see them. Yeah. Because those are a week. We episodes. practice. Exactly. Um, we don't. So Monday through Friday, we do a new episode. I believe today is episode sixty-seven for us. That's correct. And on Monday we'll do a magic trick. On Tuesday we'll talk about technology. Wednesday we might do a craft. We may do something fun with food. We may tell a story on Thursday, maybe do a little show and tell. Then on Friday, you know, we always have our casual competition, which I usually win. No, that's and a, it's a tie 6-6. Six, six, we six. sing some songs. We sing songs every day, except sometimes on Thursdays. Really we, we sing songs, we play games, we tell jokes, we tell facts. We do lots and lots of fun, exciting things that you would do every single day at, at camp. camp. And that's basically what it's Well, about. that was a good summary. That was I'm good. glad you went through that. Now, what I'll do is I'll just put that on every show, so that way I don't need to... We don't ever have to, to talk about it again. All right, let's do our facts. All right. This is our segment that we like to call Fun Facts. Yeah. Why did I say it so mean? Then? I don't know. I was going to say it with you, but I was going to say crazy facts, so I'm glad well, I did Well, wait, let's, say let's both say our own okay. on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. Fun Facts! facts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, so, um, what, what is your fact? My crazy fact is, uh, well, I'm going to do this one. Okay. And you can do that one. Sure. The heaviest fish ever caught was the uh, fish this in the ocean. It's called the ocean sunfish. The ocean sunfish. Yes. The, that, this is the largest fish that's ever been caught? The heaviest. Not the, the heaviest. Largest, okay. The heaviest. Heaviest. And, and how it, much did he weigh? It was almost two and a half tons. Woo! Which is about 5,000 pounds. Wow. Yes. Is, is that exact? It looks like it says 4,928 pounds to be exact. I don't think anyone's keeping track. But yes, that's how wow, big it was. Wow, that is a It was big... an ocean sunfish, which is a kind of sunfish that lives in the ocean. Hmm. Wow. That's <laughs> but a that's a fact fish. Fact. It's not like, you know, it's not like the heaviest... Um, dog. Dog ever caught. Whale. Or whale. That's what I mean. Person. Or and you know I don't think a person ever you know weighed that 4, sharks, sharks are not fish. No, they're not. They are not fish. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe there was a bigger shark that has been caught than five thousand uh, pounds. Sure, I'm sure there has. Maybe. Been. Well, let me so, tell yeah, you my good. interesting you know, fact. My interesting fact would be that all, all, not most, not most, not some, not some, not just a little bit, not a small percentage, but all, every, every single, one of them. single one, yes, of polar bears, okay, are left-handed. What? Is that crazy? What? Now, how would they know? Do they give them a pencil? Yeah, they, they say, hey, excuse like, me, tap them on the shoulder. Uh, what's two plus two? Or you throw and them a ball and you see which hand they catch with? Well, I think the reason that they all know they're left-handed is because uh, you know that polar bears hunt on the ice. And when they pound on the ice, they always pound with their left hand, I believe. Or their left hand is always leading. Now, would you call it, uh, are they left-handed or are they left-pawed? They're probably left-pawed. Because they don't, they don't have a thumb. They don't have a thumb. 
They just have paws. Right? They just have a paw. All right. Well, those so that's a good, fun fact. Those were good fun facts. Five thousand pounds. Even if they're wrong, you should bear. spread them around because we'll let you know, everybody whatever. know. Let about everyone those fun know. Facts. Who knows? All right. So today's song is really a chant, and I credit it to uh, a couple of young ladies that I went to uh, marching band with. All right. Uh, one of them is named uh, Larissa, and okay. she's still doing music. Does and she the sing other, this song every day? She might sing this every morning to like cool. cover up. And then her friend, I don't remember her name. So All anyway, right. Larissa will never watch this. So hey, you never know. She could be watching right now. Yeah, and if I mean, you it's are, six in the morning. Here so. you go. Ooh, Layla is what it's called. All right. It's a repeat after me chant. It's a repeat after me chant. Ooh, Layla. Ooh. A lay a lay. A lay a chicka chunga. A lay a chicka chunga. A wassa wassa wassa. A wassa wassa wassa. Ooh, a lay a lay. Kids say. Ooh, a lay a lay. Kids say. That's all. That was it? That's it. Cool. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Ooh, a lay a lay. Ooh, a lay a lay. A lay a chicka chunga. A lay a chicka chunga. A wassa wassa wassa. A wassa wassa wassa. Ooh, a lay a lay. Kids say. Ooh, a lay a lay. Kids say. I think that's it. That was pretty good. I All liked right. it. That is. This is so fun. Uh, I nice think that uh, it's time to... Tech Track Tuesday! Now. I'm Pete. I'm Brian. And today we're talking about wireless technology. Wireless. And Last this... week we talked about wires. Yeah, that's right. This week we left the same note up there. We just put a less after it. That's true. So you knew. Something like that. <laughs> um, this week is going to be the short... I'm going to do a short one. Short it's one? Like, it's really complex. So it's going to be about 20 minutes? Only 20 minutes this time. Okay, so Sorry. everyone's heard of uh, wireless technology in one way or another. Absolutely. Now, can you give me a couple examples of what wireless technologies uh, you've had or encountered in your Well, life? my laptop computer has this little card yep. that you slide in, yep. and then there's this router, which is like this like, Well, what is that thing called? What do you call that? Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, right? yeah. That's right. Wireless, uh, wireless fidelity. Yep. yep. Um, Wi-Fi. Your, well. your cell phones... The, they're Wi Fi. Yeah, no, they're not Wi Fi, but they're wireless. They're wireless. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah that I mean Wi Fi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, remote controls. Remote controls, those are wireless. Yeah, yep. that's true. I mean, they've been wireless for a long time. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, PlayStation 3, they have wireless controllers now. Yeah, well, the Wii has wireless controllers that's right. as well. Um, you know, you're mentioning a lot of different technologies, uh, and, and they use different types of wireless stuff. That's right. But here, let me, let me clue you in. Give me some that clues. Every single type of wireless technology that Brian was just talking about, every single one, mm -hmm. is based on light. Based on light? Yes. Like what we're seeing right now? Yes. Wow. Okay, so in Explain, light, please. there is the visual spectrum, which is what, what you seven would call... Seven different colors? I mean, like, like, you know, Roy G. Biv, right? So yeah. that's like the whole rainbow is Roy right G. Here. Biv means red, green, blue, purple... Sure. Blue, so black. So you have right there. You have like, let's pretend that um, you know this is light. We're going to say, or uh, okay. the electromagnetic spectrum. This so right here. Okay. So while this is one sliver of light, happens to be stuff that we can see. But then a whole lot of other light exists uh, that that moves at different. Uh, moves slower or faster than the light that we know. And, and we know this by what we see, right? We can only see a very small portion of light. Then there is light up here, you know, different types of light. This is like there are x-rays. X you know, I do know why the sky is blue. There are gamma rays. Right, because that has to do with light. That's true. And then down here, I'm not going to tell you though. We have radio waves. Radio. Radio. Okay. All right, so and then radio, these are there are microwaves yeah. right over here. Oh, yeah. what you like uh, heat up your your uh, baked beans in? Actually, um, no, not quite. Uh, okay. But yeah, I mean, it uses the same technology as that. But microwaves uh, are a a kind of wave that uh, basically goes through us. You know, it's just always traveling around. You know, all of these waves are all just happening. The only ones that we happen to see are right here in what they call a like visible light spectrum. Oh. But then they're going to be, you know, you've heard of something like infrared technology, mm -hmm. right? Infrared? Yeah, Now, absolutely. when we, when uh, infrared, yeah, that is... Um, know what infrared is. Infrared is right here. It's right below the oh. visible light spectrum. And with infrared, that's how your remote control works. Your remote control sends out an infrared signal. It sends out light, a pulse of light, right out of the, your, your remote control, and it's received on the other end 
uh, by your VCR or whatever, or your TV. It's like the and little, little thing understand. you see in the front. It's got a little... That's right. Now, uh, there are technologies that let you see infrared, which would be... Uh, like, like a heat, scanner? Heat vision goggles or something like that. They, oh, okay. they, they see infrared light because all of this stuff, as I said, it's all happening all around us all the time. Cool. Now, for wireless to work, obviously, we can't see the signals. If we saw the signals of wireless, it would be very bad technology. And the reason would be because everything would be filled with stuff. You'd be well, seeing so all of these, these light rays flying around and whizzing around our heads. Instead, we don't crazy. see them. We just, uh, we can't see them with our eyes, we can't hear them, we can't perceive them, but they're all around us and they're just different types of light. I thought of another wireless. Oh, what's another one? A wireless? satellite. A satellite? Well, satellites uh, can can share wireless signals. Well, okay. I, I, I meant like the, the actual satellite dish, because then it's, it's shooting out. That's right. Yeah, to a, a satellite, yeah. and then it's getting, receiving signals from it. So, the, the main wireless signal that we know that mm -hmm. we talk about and that, that most of the technology that you use on a daily basis uses is called radio waves now radio waves are at the bottom of the spectrum um in a and there were the first guy who really made the the radio no one knows his name and i can't remember it really? off the top of my head Nobody but the guy who's patented who who got oh. the original patent was uh marconi now marconi was his not first or his last name that's his last name okay now marconi was not the first person to uh, use radio signals. Uh, the first person to use radio signals was Nikola Tesla. Was that with... Uh... Well, what he did was he set up these two radio towers across these cornfields, and uh, or across oh, uh, fields out in the Midwest, I guess, and um, he sent a signal from one to the other and also burnt down all of the cornfields in between. <laughs> oh, no. And it was like <laughs> banned from those states or something like that. Anyway... The bottom line is that these are all light waves. Uh, light waves. What about and, um, Morse code? Morse code could be sent. That's just a different way of conveying uh, signals. Now, what we do is we send signals wirelessly using radio. Now, with radio, all you're doing is you're sending an analog signal. Remember, okay. we did analog versus digital. An analog signal is being received into the ears of the radio, Ooh. and then the radio spits out. Uh, your favorite your tunes or whatever. Well, then, now, you know, then, they have wireless headphones now that do. you can put in your helmet if you're skiing or snowboarding. And what those things do is they use radio waves, but they use radio waves in a very close proximity. So the... Um, like the Bluetooth, right? So, that's or that's technology. another kind of, that's a kind of radio wave. Yeah, exactly. And those those types of radio waves, uh, they, they work in a very small um, area, mm -hmm. just like Wi-Fi is also a kind of radio wave. And it projects out digital information, which would be ones and zeros, and it can put a whole bunch of ones and zeros in the air all at once. All right. And that's what makes it so that you can have these high fidelity, high quality uh, now, tell headphones me, or, or whatever. What so are wireless. what are some pros, and pros and cons of wireless? So maybe we can we can find out what's the what's what's the benefit of having something be wireless instead of having a wire to it. Well, Brian. Uh, well, I do want to say that there are different flavors of wireless. Mm, and that we, we go right across this whole spectrum right here is that there are all different um, types of uh, capacities for wireless. So when, when we're way down here, that means that the, the wavelength is much smaller, okay. which means that it goes a farther distance, I believe. It can go a farther distance. It can go over mountains and stuff like that, but it carries less data. That's okay. why they call it shortwave short wave radio, for instance. All you right. can go all the way around the world with shortwave radio, but the quality is really, really low. But then once you get higher, that means that you can carry more information, but it goes shorter distances. Yeah, so, it's, so It's too heavy to go over. Yeah, exactly. So, And there, there's always going to be this limit. you know. So it's like if I have a lot of data that I'm trying to pump out, yeah. um, uh, it's going to have to only go a short distance until we figure out oh, ways around cool. that. And so when uh, you're trying to compare wireless and wired, uh, when you have something that is wired, in general, you can convey a lot more information over so that wire. Like, like your cable, your, your cable for like yeah. uh, cable television, like that, that carries so much information, and that information can't really be duplicated that well on a wireless signal. Yeah. Then also, the wireless technologies that we have for TVs right now and in, in, in the like future, in the near future. Dishes, you mean? Well, no, no, I mean like more like um, uh, over the air, over the oh, airwaves, okay. you know, antennas, rabbit ears, or whatever you want to call them. 
Those, they're only single direction, which means that you receive information, but you can't send it back. Uh, On a wa and if you have a cable, um, it's much easier to send and receive. Now, this is all, as technology progresses, we can do more and more with wireless signals. I know a lot of friends who have their computers hooked up right to, like, they want to keep the, the wire in because it transfers information faster, like if they're downloading movies or if they're downloading... Uh, yeah, if they're on or iTunes or whatever, yeah. and they're downloading a lot of stuff, then obviously you want, you generally right now want to be plugged in because you can have much faster speeds yeah. being plugged in. But that's not entirely true, that there are new technologies out there, they're a little more expensive, but they can convey a lot of information uh, wirelessly, and uh, the, the more technology advances, the faster our wireless technology becomes. Huh. But one problem with wireless technology that doesn't happen as much with wired technology is that different things can interfere with the signal. And remember, you're talking about well, you're talking about light waves, yeah. and so if you have something like um, fluorescent magnet. lights, for instance, fluorescent oh. light bulbs, or, um, or or a microwave oven. That can interrupt a wireless signal, mm. and it can cause some trouble. And I don't know if you've oh. ever noticed with, like, a radio. Sorry. Uh, no, it's what I, was, I was just actually probably going to say the same thing, where it's, if your phone rings and a radio is on, it starts to get some feedback. Yeah, you, you get this crazy some... feedback, and it's, like, wretched. You just hate yeah. it. It's, like, awful noise, and that's because and then you're like, Go the your radio phone, you're like, oh, is picking up pick the up cell my phone, phone as as signal. Can. Hello? Like that ringing. Hello? Up. Yeah. Just to make sure. Anyway. That nobody else hears that. Either. So that's our, our thing, and I said it was going to be short, and I lied. It wasn't short at all. But It was very short. Um, I hope you know a little bit more about the electromagnetic spectrum here. You can look it up online. Yeah, you can look it up online. I think that that's, you know. You know, if you'd like to learn more, go to your local library. Remember, visible light is only a small sliver, and you have a lot of other stuff out there that is always being transported through you, around you. If you go to the library, make sure to ask for Mr. Bookman. Mr. Bookman, he knows. He's, he knows everything there is to know about Gamma, X-ray... Visible light, microwave, radio. and radio waves. Cool. We'll, well see hey. you on Wednesday. Yes, and you have yourself an excellent Tuesday here on Kids Kids Side 2, 2, the webpage. I'm Pete. Brian. Later. Bye.